Fashion wasn't here, obviously, for, for this game, and there's been a bit of interest with, with him over the last week or so. Is there anything further in that? Or is... No, nothing at the moment. There's a, there's a bit of noise around a few of the players, isn't there? And that's natural because of how many players we brought in. But as soon as uh, there's something to say on that, we will do. Do you feel Just... that's one of the kind of main priorities now to try and get offload some of the players that you've got to kind of balance things up and, and make the, the squad a bit slimmer? Well, I think when you bring nine players in total and you bring in two in the January, that's 11 players into a squad, quite a few left, eight to ten players have already left. I need to have time now to bring this team together. Is it going to be perfect straight away? No. You can see there's going to be teething problems, but I think we've got a lot of good players. So as long as they all get in line and, and are attuned quickly, and naturally with that process happening, one or two are going to be a little bit uneasy, naturally, and one or two are going to bite down on the gum shield and fire. And I think... The, the window shuts on the 1st of September. We've got eight or nine games before then uh, across the different competitions, hopefully. So I think uh, it's going to be a, a, a long month to the end of the, or to the start of September and the end of the window. And uh, I'm sure there'll be one or two that leave and there may be one or two that arrive. Is there any update on Glenn Kamara? Because he's not really been involved in, in pre season at all. No update. Glenn obviously was given an extended break at the end of the season uh, due to internationals. Then he had a sickness problem that's run on. So he's training in isolation at the moment. He's not with a group, just trying to get himself up to speed. Uh, there's a lot in the background with Glenn as well, with, with with different inquiries and him talking to different people. So it's best that he's just to the side of the group. But no issues with him on a personal level. It's a conversation that we had a good few months ago. In terms of your um, uh, one year press conferences, I thought, okay, how you said you were going to try this year, and perhaps change the way you were playing up front to take advantage of the amount of ball you normally know, have in SPFL games. The way that the friendlies have worked out has that really given you much of a chance or to do that or is it well, a work in progress? Well the players arrive at different times so you can think see with Sam and Abdullah in particular they've played a lot of roles in pre-season Abdullah played wide today in a line of four but it looked a bit 4-2-4 four, four. it's a bit gung-ho at times first half um, so we'll need to adjust that but he's played up front he can play he played on the left the other day in a 4-3-3 three, three. so I think it's just a matter of time I think with the amount of number nines we got it's going gonna, it's gonna to push us to play in a certain way um, but I think we need the options because the times last year we were struggling for options in the final third and I think they're all, you know, these players have, uh, you know, in Danilo's case has won the area division the last two years and Cyril's top goal scorer in that league, Sam's playing the Serie A, so Cyril, so they're coming in with good ped pedigree and uh, I'm sure that, you know, good players like playing together but as we say, you need a little bit of rhythm through training as, as much as you do the games as well. You know, you know, you know what it's like here when you're trying to bed in a new team, but you need to win it, come on, don't you? Are, you? are you ready for that? Do you think you're ready to go down there? I get where you're going, all right, but the league's not going to be over after game one. So, uh, look, we'll just play each game in front of us. What's really important for this Rangers team, for me, the fans and everyone, it's a new team. It's what we wanted. It's what the fans wanted. It's what everyone wanted. There's a lot of excitement around. OK, now we need to support it. We need to fuel it. We need to get it fit, strong, together. We need to get the fans behind it and we take one game at a time and see where it takes us. This month we're going to play, the season starts, we're playing three competitions. So, you know, you, each game you just take it, you take the feedback from it and you move on. But the group of players in there won a lot of football matches uh, from Christmas down when I come in. So I expect them to go and win some football matches in this first month. Cheers, guys.